Hey guys, and welcome to the new Let's Play I'm doing. It will be a group Let's Play, whatever when people are on that I can play with. Uh, meaning Nick, Debbie, possibly one of my other friends who I, I think, yes, he has. You would know him as Tyson. I believe is what I would usually call him in my stuff. But, if he wants to play this, he will. He's not a big fan of uh, turn-based RPGs like the rest of us are, apparently. Anyway... With that, let's go ahead and get into Nostalgia. I'm playing on a completely new name, so it's completely fresh, so I can show everything and not have to worry about having all my stuff and my other name getting in the way of this. So, let's just get started and do what we need to do. Okay, let's create a new character. Alright, so we have a ranger. Okay, let's start here. You see the eight classes on the right? The only ones you can use are the top four. Unless you're a subscriber, then you can use the bottom four. But you have to pay a fee for those. I don't remember how much it is. I can look it up right fast. Uh, so if you hear me typing, that's what it is. Let's see if I can find it on their Nostalgia Wiki at the moment. Uh, how about Subscriber? Would that be better? Maybe I should go to their site and look for it see how much it actually is. Okay, so if I can find how much the uh, thing is... Uh, it doesn't say. Uh, hold on. Let me go and check out their website right fast. And I'll see if I can find how much it actually costs to be able to join their game. Uh, an optional yearly subscription. Not for non-essential features. How much is it? Come on. Come on. Tell me. Uh... 100%. Uh, one character, two specs. Apparently you can make one of each on that. Uh, there it is, over there. You can subscribe to Nostalgia for six months for $9, one year for $15, or lifetime for 25 So, I don't see what's too bad about spending a one lifetime, a one year, a one lifetime fee for $25, but if you don't use it, what's the point? Kind of like Xbox Live, right? Uh, Nine dollars for six months. You'll probably be done within six months. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, nine for six, fifteen for one year, and twenty-five for lifetime. Mastercard, Visa, Bank of uh, Bank of America. No, I can't read that. Express, Discover, and just Bank. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here where, where I left off. Now that I'm like three minutes into it, probably longer. Like I said, here's the Ranger. It's a balanced character. Basically, you get a lot of hit points. Decent. A little bit below decent uh, magic. In the middle, strength. Good agility. And in the middle, intelligence. Uh, soldiers. Hit points are great. Strength is great. You get no mana. Your agility sucks and your intelligence sucks. Personally... I don't care for the soldier. I've used it, and it's pretty slow, and while you do a lot of damage, it's not really worth it because you can't do anything else. Cleric, clearly you heal up. Uh, healing and buffing. Hit points aren't that great. Mana's in the middle. Strength is eh. Agility is eh. Intelligence is all right. Uh, I usually play as a wizard. Hit points really suck. Mana's great. Strength is low. Agility is really bad, too. Intelligence is all the way up. Uh, so, anyway, I don't know which one I was going to choose, so you'll find out here in a minute. These are the other classes, Merchants, uh, Physically Strong, this is like the overall class here. Like, a, just a medium class, sort of, I guess. This one, uh, yeah, pretty bad, kind of like the other ones. This one's uh, a ninja, great strength, good agility. Everything else is bad. Warlock kills himself to hurt you. Uh, okay, anyway. That's enough of going through the character list. What do I want to be today? Uh, Ranger in the middle. Heavily armored. No, I can cross that off my list. Cleric? Uh, no, not really. I guess I'm going to go with a mage, even though they got really bad hit points. And bad strength. And they're slow. Uh, I don't want to be a ranger because I like variety to my party. So, 
I guess I'll go with the wizard this time. So let's go ahead and get started with him. You get to customize it. You can be male or female. Other way around. A female or a male. Uh, well, let's see. Let's, what do I want to do? Just give him black hair, I guess. Uh, and let's what else is there? Cause yeah, I guess that works. Let's give him a tan. Make him a female. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let's yeah, let's go with that. That works for me. All right, what do I want him to be called? I don't think I can get my name because I believe I already have it on a different name. I'll try anyway. Yeah, that name is taken. Worth a shot. Um, let's see. Do I have this name taken on my other one? I don't think so. I can check. Ah, oh, there we go. So yeah, I'm good to go. I got my character set up. First wizard Rowan, huh? Yeah, me neither, guy. Me neither. Oh god! It's an ambush! Such a phenomenon! Yeah, it does look kind of dangerous. Do. Are you? You're first wizard of Lord Balsack? Is that what his name is? Oh, well, guess you burst into flames. Well, that old man had a fancy robe and still died. And then we absorbed his essence and became ourselves. Okay, I'm listening. Speak it to me. Alright, so if you hear me clicking, this game is a PC game, so it is a little loud. But I'm also using my laptop, so it might be a little bit quieter for you. Here we go now, here we go, here we go. Turn left, you'll find something useful. Okay, well, we'll go left then. What's left? The action button is tab. You can also use the space bar. A cypress stick. Alright, so your bag is your item, and then you can... Hey, we start off with a potion. And then you can equip it, just like this. Not too hard. This game is a lot better with uh, more people in it. You can have three people on a team at a time. The man is slipping the set through the portal. Oh no! Where? There. You have three people on a team at a time. Uh, kind of sucks. But that's the rules. I have not beaten this game yet. Me, Nick, and Debbie have all tried to do it together. Uh, there's still like two more areas we got to get to, but we're at max level. Can't do anything. And they haven't updated it in a while, so... Yeah. Kinda sucks. Do I have any abilities yet? Yes, I do. I have Fireball. Alright. Uh, abilities. You see this little button called uh, Sign Hotkey? You can click on it, and then drag it down here. Uh, click on it, and then you pretty much just take your mouse back down there, because it lets you do this. And then you can just use your abilities whenever you want. The number pad or the number keys at the top of the keyboard. All right, so we got some reputation, we got some uh, gold, but we're not ready to leave yet. Over here, we got a secret passage. So that's nice. And in here, what do we have? A headband, which I believe that boosts up our defense. Let's check it out. Yep, one defense. I'm a wizard, so I'm a wizard. Yeah, great. I'm a wizard, so I'll take that. You'll find hidden passages like this all over the world, but not all of them are easy to spot. Yep, I know. Okay, anyway, I'm move. Go. Thank you. I usually play... I like to play as a wizard because it's a little bit more difficult and it's a little harder. But it also gives my team variety if me, Nick, and Debbie are all playing together. What do we got here? 25 gold. Not too shabby. I've already opened that chest. The chests don't disappear, which kind of sucks. 
so whatever. Anything else in here? Guess not. Oh no, it's a slime! I better kill it! Come on. It's not really that hard of a fight. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, one experience. And the slime approaches you. This will happen in every game in the beginning. They always give you this one person to come with you. So you could get monsters in here. Uh, what do I want to start with this? Uh, da -da -da -da. Huh, you're green. Uh, maybe I'll do what I was doing on my last uh, name. Let's see. There we go. Come on, Lime. Well, who's the little girl? His name's not Slimy. Urgh. Well, maybe he just doesn't like your cooking, Maya. Well, maybe that's because I cook better. And I have a fancy robe. Just so you know, I do have an, an account called Old Man, who dresses like the old man from Zelda. And every time I'm playing, I'm always going around going, I'm an old man and I wear a fancy robe. The ranch? Like, Cool Ranch? Do you want to be, you want to be some Doritos? Alright, let's go ahead and get up in here. This is the Animal Ranch, or the Monster Ranch. What's up, bitch? I mean, Maya. Don't you create more companions? You can store them here at the Companion Ranch. So, Companion Ranch. This is what this is called. There's a chance that it might want to join you. Okay. Yeah, so you have to have a good reputation to be able to do that. Yeah, a decent reputation, at least. Uh, you saw we got those reputation points earlier? That's what that's for. Yeah, the bestiary. Oh, okay, so I believe that the beastie area is this. You can see we have one slime for the NR beastie area, which is the area we're in. Neutral, one experience, one gold. Tells you how much you get out of it. So that's nice. Uh, sup? I don't want to leave anybody here with you. I only have one, and this one is going to help me survive. Yeah, this is rather annoying. I wish they would have let you do this. You can also skip it if you're playing this. You can look at the right side. There's a fast forward button. It does it automatically, but it'd be better if it didn't so you can get experience points on the way up there. Anyway, since the 4th of July was recent, they've decorated the area and placed fireworks in places like here, for that matter. And you can shoot off fireworks. Pretty nice if you ask me. Uh... Yeah, this is the Happy Balzacian Dependence Day. Dependence Day. Kingdom of Balzacian will be celebrating the Balzacian leadership and military power. If you can make it out there to take part in the festivals just east of the Coliseum. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and head uh, this direction. And we will launch this. Just for the hell of it. I don't know why, but why not? And through there, we can come over here and open up another chest for five gold. So that's pretty nice, too. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep grabbing some stuff. Uh, because why not? And there's one over here. Hey, start walking. Stop being stupid. And over here is another chest. What's in here? Hey, HP potion. That's kind of nice. At low levels, you kind of need it. Now, uh, I don't want to start doing quests yet. Because I am waiting for uh, Nick, basically. But here's some here's a quest. But in this room, there is also a, another hidden passage. Which you can get something else in. Magic herb, which is nice for me, because I'm a mage. And yeah, so uh, I probably not probably not gonna pick up any of these, but I do need to get my character up to level five because uh, that's when some of the other skill points kick in, and it lets you pick out some of the stuff you want to do. So when I reach level five, I'll meet you back here. I won't do any of these quests until the next episode, uh, where I'll have more people with me to be able to separate this out. So I'll see you as soon as I'm done doing that. It probably will take me like 20 minutes. I hope not that long, but I'll see you soon, guys.
All right, well, I'm currently at an inn because I'm almost done with my leveling up and I'm not on the screen be doing anything. There we go. Uh, I have like one more level, or yeah, I have like 10 experience points to go before I level up to the next one. Hopefully I won't die like I've been doing. It took longer than I intended to because I tried to do it cheaply by logging into my other account. And I kept running into this and getting my ass kicked. Uh, so yeah, I managed to get another uh, green slime to help me out here. It is helping a little bit, but not too much. Uh, my spells aren't doing too much yet because I'm not that high of a level. But it's, I'm doing what I can. They're doing most of the damage with physical attacks. My physical attack does like three. Yeah. So I'll just stick to using stuff like this. See, if I get the attack, I'll show you the attack. Yeah, see, look at this. Four. An excellent move. I did four damage. Four. Yeah, that should be enough. So, yep, yeah, that's enough. And I leveled up here. And my agility goes up. Like a normal RPG game. Uh, Lime levels up. The monsters level up with you. So if you're not if you're about to level up and they could be at one experience, they're not gonna level up with you. Until after you level up. Then they'll level up following you. Same thing, but you'll level up before they do technically. Alright, and with that we hit level five, where at this point, like I said, congratulations, you've reached level five. You are now ready to begin customizing your character skills. This is your skill tree HUD where you can spend skill points to power up your stats and learn new abilities. There are several trees that you can browse boxes colored green or skills that you have already invested in. You learn you earn skill points by leveling up. If you have unused skill points, the skill tree button down below will flash. Right here, this will flash. Like it is. Game has already invested most of your skill points. Those points will now reset and be returned to you. Thanks. You're ready to begin. Once this menu closes, you may click on the boxes above to begin spending your skill points. So with that, now we get to go in and actually choose our skill points. Uh, you see here we have fire. Uh, this is fireball level 1. Inflicts direct damage on a single target for 4 MP. You come down here, you can learn burn, which group of enemies. And then following that, you can get firewall, which attacks all enemies. This is uh, fire cross, self-cast, one round, explodes when hit by a target attack. I've never used it. Uh, but each of these have the same thing. A snowball goes to a glacier, goes to a blizzard, and you also have ice cross. Wind, you get gust, gale, volt cross. I don't know why it's electricity here. And tornado. So, yeah. I have five points to distribute. Uh, companions also level up. They don't have skill trees, but they have uh, milestones. In this case, the lime has... Uh, it could be Cutter, it could be Chance of Bleed, or you can get Poison. It's about the same thing. Uh, I just use the old Poison because it sounds cooler, in my opinion. And did he not get one? And I guess I might as well learn Cutter for this one, so it's two different uh, abilities that would be being used on it. They have different things, but we'll go over that later. Let's get back to me and my level up. Alright, here I am. You have your skills right here. This is what I meant to do. You have willpower, which will increase your... Well, not increase. It'll take off uh, minus 6% of all MP, uh, MP cost. Going up, basically. And then you can learn vitality, which you can cast into overworld. You walk around and get your stuff. And then you have curse. You can curse the target to reduce healing. Wise one. Spell six, uh 3%. Yeah. It's not too difficult. Confused. We don't know what that does. Madness. Confused group. Mirage, Mirage group, or all enemies. Uh, Viger, this is probably my favorite one because I can boost the attack of, uh, well, not that, but Viger, this is uh, Empower, boosting the attack of a single one. But with Viger, you get plus 15% of all physical damage you do back as MP. The more strength you have, the more Viger you, get, you can get. Uh, this will do plus 5 percent to multi-target. I want to start with this first, but I have to be at level 10, and that kind of sucks. So, we will go for something else first, which will probably, I'm not sure what it'll be. Ah, here's the other one. Storm enchant, we can enchant your weapon to do fire damage or ice damage or storm, but you can't get that until level 12. 
Stamina increases HP by 2%. Wisdom increases MP by 2%. Luck uh, plus 3 chance to resist all attacks that have a randomized success rate. Yeah. That's important to me at least. So for me, I probably want to go with some stamina because I have very bad stamina. And with my first 5 skill points, I can max it out completely. Huh. That might not be a bad idea. You can also reset skills later on, but we'll go over that then. So I think for now, so I can do a little bit more uh, leveling up easier, I'm going to put this up to, like, here. And, stop doing that. I think I will start on, uh, usually choose fire. I'll go with, uh, do -do -doom. I'll go with Storm this time. Go for something different. Not that I see too much going for the weakness of Storm. You know, let's stick with Fire. I happen to like Fire more than anything, so let's just go with Fire for now. And you can increase the spell power and MP cost. Let's see. Do, do I want to do that, or do I want to go put... What am I doing? Go back. Go back to me. Let's do this. There we go. Now we'll do be able to use it a little bit more and get rid of things. That, that that's at level five. Uh, I also off screen when I was learning stuff, I learned the recall spell, which will take you back to the previously ta the town you previously visited. Uh, here's my spells. You start with missile and fireball. I just kept getting fireball uh, abilities for my climbs, guard stuff. They use these randomly because you don't control them. So. Yeah. Alright, well, that's pretty much about it. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and cast Recall right fast. And I'll go over some stuff in town that I didn't go over yet. Alright, cast Recall. There we go. Alright, here's our inn. Of course, we know how an inn works. This nun here, if you're poisoned, she will heal you for free, I believe. Um... Uh, the end here costs uh, three gold, which let's go ahead and do that right fast. Why not? I'm going to go to the item shops in a moment. There's also another type of shop here called the, uh, uh, what's it called? I can't think. The marketplace where you can buy weapons and stuff or skill, not skills, but weapons and items and stuff like that here. But there's not one here, I don't believe. Alright, so this symbol where I'm at right now is the weapon shop. Eventually, I'll buy something else, uh, probably the wooden staff. It's for a ranger, a cleric, a wizard, and a conjurer. It's the next thing I can get. Uh, the cypher stick we already have, I'll sell mine. Broadsword, I can't equip. Wooden staff is the only thing I can equip. Tiny dagger, I can't equip. Uh, so I'll probably end up buying this. And anything from over here? The Wayfarer's clothes I'll probably buy. Everybody can equip that. That simple robes. For 160, I may end up buying the simple robes if I can get enough money for that. So I'm going to have a little bit more uh, gold and stuff to get. But next time we'll actually start doing quests. And, I should prob and I'll probably have Nick on for that. So, uh, yeah. We'll start that next time. And there's one more store over here which sells potions and scroll recalled antidotes stuff like that uh, what do you have to say dude bandits have been raiding our supply caravan so I'm afraid that we won't have the okay but yeah the exclamation points mean people have quests question marks over here uh, I think it's the same thing more quests but anyway let's not get into that right now we'll go over that next time when Nick's on so Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nostalgia, and I'll catch you next time where we start actually doing stuff for our quest. Thanks for watching guys, have another firework, and peace out.